Hello, just a quick little video here on uh, how to update the score bug on College Football Revamped. This will work for uh, PC slash emulator. This will also work for PlayStation 3. Um, it's actually pretty simple to do, but uh, it is a lot easier to just watch a video and see how to do it than it is to, to follow it by, by text, essentially. Um, there are four things. This is the score bug right here. Uh, there are four things that we, we're going to want to change on this for our custom teams. Uh, the first one is obviously the uh, the team logo here. The second being the team name. The third being the background color on the score bug. And then the fourth is a little bit less obvious, but it's a uh, secondary color for our team, which is way down here on the bottom that just shows uh, which team has possession of the ball. So this will change color and positioning depending on who has possession. Anyway, uh, I will show you how to change each one of these very quickly. Right. Okay, well, let's probably start with uh, the easiest thing to change, and that's going to be the Scorebug team logo. Uh, what you're going to want to do first is open up your uh, interface file. Um, you've probably already done this. Uh, it's the same file for updating the primary team logos in College Football Revamped. You're going to want to scroll down. You may already have this file. It's 141. You're going to want to extract that. We'll just put that right to our desktop. Um, I'll close, reopen, file, open, file 141 and you should see here now all of our team logos so up here on top so i'm going to be changing arizona uh for uh just an example in this video this first logo you see here is the team logo if you were to change this and only this you would not see a change on the score bug what you're going to actually want to do is scroll all the way down to the bottom of this file uh, and then eventually you'll just scroll up a little bit. You'll find a repeat of all of the team logos. So then we're going to want to scroll up. They are in alphabetical order for the most part. Scroll up until we see Arizona. The Arizona. So this is the logo that we are going to want to change. It's the exact same dimensions. Uh, DXT5 DTS type as uh, the other logo. So you can basically just use the same file again. I am going to just put in, uh, sure, we'll go with this logo. Perfect. Um, and we're going to go ahead now and save that. I will save this back to our desktop and I will name this new. Uh, 00141, and then I will go ahead now then and, uh, sorry, you may have a better system for this. I'll rename the old one old, and then just rename the new one back to file 00141. And while I'm here, I will also rename the original interface file as old. Perfect. And then I will now put that, open up old interface and then put in the new 141 file or one replace with this file right here i'm going to save that as just qkl interface and that is all you got to do for your score bug team logo okay so for the team name and the primary and secondary score bug colors um it's a little bit the the file that you're looking for is a little bit hidden um it's a little convoluted to find but it's going to be in your patch file um if this is your first time doing any editing your patch file may be encrypted you can uh, decrypt it using true answer true ancestor i already have that done so i'm not going to show you how to do that um, those resources do already exist. Um, what you want to do is you want to open up your patch file. Give it a second here. First thing you're going to want to do, file 5 here, AST5, extract that. going <laughs> to go down the, the chain here. We're going to now open up file 5. 
We're going to go down to file 13. We're going to extract file 13. We're going to open up that file, file 13. Scroll all the way down. This is the file we want. Uh, it's an APT file, 65. Extract that. Extract back to your desktop. And cool. Next thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to, want to open that file in a hex editor. I use HXD. Desktop. 65. All right. So. This is the file that is associated with the score bug. Um, it's going to look like hieroglyphics, and that is fine. Um, what you're going to want to do is find the, I guess, okay, let's do the team name first. So that's a little bit easier to find. On this side over here, you're going to see your decoded text. Scroll all the way down, and eventually you will find a list of team names. It is near the end of this file. It's not it. Yeah, okay, here we are. Okay, so we are um, changing Arizona. Now, this can get a little complicated. Um, you can't necessarily name each team whatever you want. There are some limitations based off what's already on the score bug. So you can see for Arizona, we're actually a little bit limited. Um, A, R, I, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven characters. That's the maximum for Arizona that we can use for our new team name. You'll note that there is a dot between Arizona and Arizona State. So you need to have this dot between your team name and the next team name. You can see Alabama.Arizona.Arizona State. Um, you can if you want. If, you, if you're going to name this team something that has less than seven characters, you can do that. You don't have to use them all. Um, but you cannot go beyond what's already there. Um, for example, like a team like Arkansas, you have actually a little bit more wiggle room because you have the characters and then you have four dots after Arkansas. Now you need to save one of those to tell the, the file that you're moving on to the next team, which is Arkansas State. But you can replace these three dots here with letters if you so choose. Unfortunately for this example, we picked Arizona. We don't have that wiggle room. Um, so we are limited to what we have here. I let's name some let's name this something that only has six characters. So I'll show you exactly um, what to do in that situation. Uh, the one thing that you're going to probably want to do is look at the team after the team that you're editing and put your cursor on the first letter of the next team. So the A on Arizona State, and then you should see the cell highlighted over here on the hex code. Just make note that. This 41 should be on number eight here. If that's not the case when you're done editing, it's just gonna, you're gonna screw up your file. The game's gonna freeze when you try to load. So what we can do then is we can replace Arizona. Let's do something with six characters. Um, I think of something off the top of my head here. Let's do... Let's do, uh, actually, let's do something with five characters. Let's just call it Miami. You can just type right on over and it will just overwrite what's already there. So you see now that we have, apparently I can't count. Oh, I can count. So you have two characters now that you want to get rid of and you want to put a dot there. If you were to actually just type the, the dot, um, if you look at here, when you put your cursor on the dot that's in the file, you get, it's a zero, zero. It's basically kind of just like a, a blank. But if you were to type in a dot right now, you see it's 2E. So it's actually putting in like a period in the name. So that would actually show up. That's not what you want to do here. Um, what you want to do instead is copy the dot that has zero, zero associated with it. It's going to give you a warning. That's fine. And then, then what you want to do is come here and paste it once. 
paste it twice. And then what you can, it's funny, when you paste it, it doesn't overwrite the two letters here. But then you can come in and then delete the N, delete the A, double check. Your Arizona A is still at number eight. That's good. So that's all you need to do for your team name. It's a little complicated um, just because there are some limitations. You just need to be careful that you only name your team what is what you're given. And like you can notice like things like Boise State, you got a lot of space. You can have a really long team name here. Something like uh, Akron, a little, little short. And then you can see there's some teams like the one that we just added, Arizona. You're very limited. Um, but otherwise... As long as you follow those rules, you should have no issues. Okay, and then the final thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to change both the primary and the secondary color of our score bug. So what you're going to want to do for that is you're going to scroll all the way up to the very top of the X file that we're editing. We're going to want to go under search and find. We're going to want to make sure that we are searching for hex values, not text string. And what we are searching for is 29. You can see it's already in here for my, myself. B700. This is the string of hex code that we are looking for. Um, and the way that this is set up, this is the string of hex that tells you um, that what comes immediately after it is the uh, primary color for the score bug. Now, it's not going to tell you which team it is that you're that you know that you're looking at, but it is in almost alphabetical order. Uh, there is a file here um, that I will link to in the video description. Um, that's essentially numerical order. The first instance of that hex code is Air Force. The second one is Akron. Third is Alabama. Fourth is Arizona. And it goes all the way down for all the teams, 126, whatever. Um, so Arizona is going to be team number one, two, three, four. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to do a search for the hex value. And when we press OK, it's going to give us the first value that it finds, number one. Then what we're going to want to do then is just to kind of cycle through the, the searches. So I believe that is the F3 button on Windows with HXD. Yes, brings you to the second instance, third instance, and then fourth instance. So this should be the color for... Arizona. Now, the next th six things, I guess six uh, characters that come after it here are the hex code uh, color value. So I'm going to write that down. DE3132. So if you want to do a little sanity check for yourself, just to make sure that you've got the right team, and open up Photoshop. Oh, wow, geez, I already got it open. Go to your color picker, and then down here you can put in your that value DE3132, and you can see the color that we get is red, the same red as Arizona here. So we know that we got the we got the right we got the right hex value. So okay, we want to change the color. What am I going to change that to? Let's go. Sure, we'll go with a crazy green just so like it'll be obvious that we what we've changed. So then you're going to want to note your six. Uh, your your six values down here, 49, DA, 16. That's going to be the color code for your primary color. So go back to HXD, cursor here, and then just type it in, 49, DA, 16. Right after that, you should see an 87. Don't touch the 87, but you'll know you've done the right thing and you're in the right spot. If you see an 87 right after it, I think that kind of like just tells the code to like stop. Like this is the end of the color. For the secondary color, you're just going to want to follow the line a little bit, a little bit, a little bit further. And you're going to see then a B7 and a 00. Right after B700 is your secondary color. So 
here, here, and here. And then you can see an 87 right after it, which tells you that's the end. So let's pick a secondary color. Let's go. Let's go magenta. Like th these are, this is ugly as shit, but um, this should really help you see the change. So that is AE16DA. Uh, okay, so that is right here, AE16DA. None of these colors match, by the way, it's ridiculous. Uh, 87 right after, and that's it, you're done. And go ahead and save this as, I think you can save this, overwrite it. I'm probably gonna not be risky and I'll just name this, get out of here you. I'm just going to name this new file, and then we'll rename it after. Um, but just basically work backwards now. Put this file into the 13.ast. Put the 13.ast back into the 5.ast. Put the 5.ast back into the patch file, and then put everything back in your emulator or on your console. All right. We've uh, put our files back on our PS3, we've loaded into a game, and as you can see, as ugly as it is... California uh, will be kicking off, there, and you can and just feel updated. the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. So we should see our secondary color here now in a moment. He's to the 20. Once we get tackled... They'll bring him down at the 22. Yeah, that ugly purple along that ugly green. The Wildcats know that they can give this guy that's the ball a, I mean, that's 25, it. 30 it's, times a game, it, and that's it great, and if it's working, that's first, perfect. You haven't but also, it before, as a defense, it's difficult you look to explain go, in writing, but once you've seen it done, well, the defensive coaches told so, uh, us this week the first thing that they have, have to do is stop this running game.